Come on. Um, I hit, I hit the iceberg. It's not really, oh, there it goes. There, there it goes. Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Spy here, and welcome back to another episode of Disassembly 3D. So last episode, we disassembled a plane by pulling the wing off mid-flight, and it crashed into the ground. And then I went over to the toaster, burnt some toast, then I had to go to the bathroom, so I went to the porcelain throne, did a little bit of repair work, and it blew to pieces. It shattered. So, I've been looking at you guys' comments, and you guys had so many amazing suggestions. And one of the top ones was to disassemble the Titanic. So, we're going to be checking that out and seeing how accurate this is. So, there's the Titanic. Look at this. Okay, so, we could probably go inside and check out the interior. Oh, look at the dining room here. It is uh, furnished. Not the greatest, but there's furniture in there. Alright, so, as you can see over here, we do have the giant iceberg, and I'm not too sure how accurate this game is on depicting the sinking of the Titanic, but we are going to see right now. So I'm going to get on this side here, and we're going to see if the iceberg actually rips a hole right into the hull. Alright, so we're moving the Titanic forward. We can stop it. We could go left and right as well, I think. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know. But here we go. Pretty soon the Titanic is going to collide with the iceberg. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Um, I hit, I hit the iceberg. It's not really, oh, there it goes. There, there it goes. Okay. Uh, we're gonna stop it completely. Oh, look at that. The bow of the ship is going under. Eventually, the stern will raise up and the bow will be completely submerged under the water. And then we will have a sunken Titanic. I want to see how accurate this is, though. Come on. It might take a little bit before it completely sinks. We could go into these rooms here and we could just see it flooding. It's totally sinking. And the stern is already raising. The propellers are almost out of the water. Oh, jeez. Is it going to split in half, though? It's still sinking. It is still sinking. We got little, we got little dinghies here. Pull one off, pull one off. Get the, oh, they actually float. Okay, everyone, oh, what? There we go. It's split, it's split. Oh man. And it's sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Jeez. Okay, it's kind of accurate. Not the best depiction, but you know, it's pretty, pretty good. So that's gonna plop down there. We already have a little bit of a debris field going on out here. We got some pieces here and there. I'll move these to the side. Pretty soon the stern of the ship should sink. And then it's gonna plop to the bottom of the ocean and we're gonna have to dismantle it. Yep, there it goes. It is sinking underwater. Totally, totally submerged. Oh man. Yep. We just sunk the Titanic. It is actually pretty accurate. I'm not too sure on how accurate it is. This would have been farther away and this was a different area as well. But it did hit the bottom. We do have a little debris field. And now it's our job to disassemble the Titanic. But before that, I just want to grab this here and just uh, lift it. Uh, can I... I wonder, can I use the iceberg... To like, can I like smash the Titanic with the iceberg? Um, I didn't really want to disassemble it underwater, but I'm gonna grab this here. Uh, we're gonna go up to the Titanic as much as possible and then just drop it like this. Yep. Oh, jeez. Did that do anything? Did that do anything? Uh, yeah, it ripped a hole in the side. What happens if I just do this? Come on. There we go. That's how you do it, guys. The Titanic is sinking once again. But I do need to disassemble this. So there's 151 parts to this. It should be pretty easy. Just get the main parts out of here. Disassemble this completely. See how it was built, I guess. Throw these stacks into the water. Make some big crashing noises. There we go. Let's just take it apart as easily as possible. And we're going to deploy the safety boats. There we go. Get these off of here. They don't count as pieces. That's nice to know. Get in there. Get in there, boats. Some of them are, are upside down, but that's okay. Everyone should be safe. There's enough dinghies here for the zero people that are on this ship. Now, this is going to be the tough part. Finding all... Oh, whoops. 
finding all the little pieces that we could disassemble. Uh, is there anything else on here that we could take off? You know what? I think that's this one whole piece. Bang! Throw that over there. There is some floors and stuff that we could pop off here. Throw those over there. Get this thing. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, no. Okay. Is it sinking already? I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna have to get as many pieces as I can before it sinks. That is one piece. Throw that off. Oh, this might be easy. This might be easier than I thought. There is some little pieces here and there. Like, what is that? Really? That little handle was piece of the ship while other little pieces aren't? Uh, the stairs aren't. Okay. Well, let's just grab this. Bang. Okay, the ship is not sinking, so that is good. I want to get as many pieces off before it gets underwater. And let's get these side pieces. If I pull this off, will it start sinking? It might. Um, maybe not. Let's grab all these side pieces off first. Just pull them right off. Uh-oh. It is sinking. It, it's sinking now. It's sinking. Oh, no. Okay. Well, um, I guess we could section it. I can't really see underwater, so I'll just section it like this. Partially underwater. It's going to be a little weird. Grab these side pieces off. Just going to take it off section by section. Uh, there we go. And now we should have access to, like, the engine bay pretty soon. Not really sure of the anatomy of the Titanic. There we go. Pull those right off. What is that doing there? No clue. Get out of here. Get out of here. So instead of building a ship, we're disassembling a ship. That is pretty cool. It's cool to see how this is kind of made. Um, that piece is stuck there. Pull that right off from underneath. Yeah. See you later. Is that just one whole piece? It is. Sweet. That's gone. Pull these pieces off. These are separate, it looks like. Oh, oh, there we go. It it split, and now it is sinking. Oh, man. It, it's sinking even more. I don't really like that splash effect that's going on there, but it's okay. Get that out of here. We'll take this section off. I'm pretty sure I am doing the best I can on getting as many pieces off as possible. The dining room has been taken apart. Now to get the rest of this stuff and take off the big piece there. Is that separate there? Come on, let me see. No, it's all one. Uh-oh, it's sinking. We gotta get this stuff done quick before it lands on it. Uh, one more piece and we are good. And now we just have to take apart this here. There should be about 50 parts in there. I'm probably missing something. And then I'm gonna have to go back. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna have to go back and find what I'm missing here. So this is pretty easy so far. It's mostly these side panels that are most of the parts. It looks like it. Let's grab all of these off. Uh, oh wow, there's some little, little pieces in here. So here's the engines. Let's pull these right off like this. Bang. Make a big ruckus. Bang. Wow, those are heavy. Look at this. Whoa. Jace. <laughs> uh, these support columns gotta go. This floor has to go. And... These boilers? Are these steam engines? Might be. There we go. Awesome. 30 parts left. I have a really bad feeling, guys, that I am forgetting something. I'm forgetting one of the parts. It might be in this pile somewhere. Look at this. That is a big field of debris. That is a lot. That is insane. Uh, let's get this piece here off. Nothing else is on there from what I know. Okay. Oh, this is a lot of little pieces here. And how many are left? It says there's seven. Please be seven right here. If there's not, I'm going to be so angry because I don't know. I don't know if I could find six pieces underneath all this rubble. Five. Oh no. I did pretty good. There's only five pieces, four pieces. I might be able to find them in here. Oh, there's, there's a few here. One there. And a few side panels there. Now just two left. So if I just go like this, it might, we might be able to find the last part just by skimming through with a piece. Come on. Find the last piece, please. Find the last piece. Oh, right there. Oh, wow. Wow. That was the last piece. We did it, guys. We did it. We took apart the Titanic. We disassembled 
the Titanic. There was no one on there, so don't be worried. It was just a simulation of the Titanic. But look at that! We can now disassemble it my favorite way. So let's try this out again. Okay, so I'm gonna remove a smokestack right here. And, uh, oh, that's quite a bit of extra. Oh, j what the heck's going on? Not what I wanted. Is it gonna sink now? Hopefully not. Well, there we go. Let's try to get this guy right on the inside. Um, right there. Is that, uh, no, don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. I want you, like, right there. Please don't move. Okay, I don't think it's gonna move there. So this is what's happening, guys. The Titanic, it's moving towards the iceberg. They don't see it quite yet. But it's too late. They can't turn. They can't turn. How accurate is this? When the iceberg hits the Titanic, we will be able to tell. Oh, no, it's gonna sink. That's pretty accurate. Um... Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Wait, what? This whole piece on the back is still there. Huh. Huh. Let's try this again. So let's go to the back here. Um, can I remove... Uh, I guess that's what I wanted. I was going to say, can I remove part of the floorboard? But not really. That works, though. Um, I guess. Yep. Get this out of here. Uh, there we go. Put this in there. And then we do this. Kablumo. Is it gonna sink from the back end now? It might. Let's see. Oh, what the heck is happening there? I don't even know. It's sinking forward. It's sinking forward. Even though there is no damage. Oh, there's a little bit of damage on the front. Just throw this under here and bloop. Right underneath. Kablam. Awesome. All right, well, there we go, guys. We sunk the Titanic and sunk it my own way as well. We're going to go back and we're going to try something else out. All right, so you guys know I'm really into technology. So what I want to do is I want to take apart the hard disk. This is a hard drive. We're going to see how easy this is. There's only 44 parts, but we're going to disassemble the hard drive. Unscrew these. It should be pretty easy, I think. It's one of the easier ones, I assume. But if you guys are enjoying this uh, episode and want to see more, like I said in the previous episode, give me some suggestions on what you would like to see next. Oh, so look at that. There's the hard disk on the inside with the writing stuff, the writing arm. I don't even know the actual terms for the hard drive, but I do know the basics of how it works. So let's get the... Uh, writing aperture off. I'm just gonna call it that, the writing aperture. Now, I don't think the bomb is going to be too cool with the hard drive, but we'll see, I guess. See what happens when we blow it to pieces. So get all these screws out of here. What is this one here? Um, not too sure. Let's get this out as well. Uh, cable, pull the cable off. Let's get this up there. Grab the arm. Oh, oh, I, oh wait. All right, get this out. Pull this off. And, oh, there's even more on it. What the heck? Okay. Is that it? Is that, is that finally it? Oh, okay. So check that out. There's some screws there. Pull that off. We'll grab this piece off there. Oh, look at that. Sweet. And then we could just... We could spin the disc. Wow. Pull this board off. Little circuit board off the back there. We're good. And then there's a little pin, I believe, right there. I don't think we can grab that. I think that's part of the disc itself. Get this screw out. That went underneath. And then there's like, I don't know, seven or so screws in here. Pull this middle piece out. Now we can get the disc. One. And grab this one. And two. Awesome. Pull that up. Good, good, good. And what else is there? There's this here. And then this little pad. Grab that out. And we have two pieces left. What are the last two pieces? Oh, right there. We got it. We got it. It was another little pad thing. Okay, so we disassembled the hard drive. Let's go back. We're going to try something out here. Pull the panel off. And now we should be able to just... Yeah, see? We can, we can do that. But I want to throw this inside right there. Oh, that is a big hard drive. Throw that in right there. Stick this back on. 
for safety reasons. And then we just do this. Kablumo. It is gone. That's how you wipe your data off your hard drive the easy way, guys. The easy way. We did it. <laughs> so a bunch of you were asking if I can take apart the pocket knife. So here's the pocket knife. It's only 23. It is one of the easier ones as well. Um, see if we could do this really fast. If you just shake it, it might just break off like that. Some of the easy pieces. There we go. That's off. So grab that out of there. Grab these ones out. And then all the parts should fall apart pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Grab this off. There it is. There's all the pieces. Grab this one out of here. Throw that over there. Grab this. It's so simple. This one's probably the easiest one so far. And we have three pieces remaining. That was really easy. The spring right here is one of them. This is one of them. I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? I could, I could chop stuff? Wait, look at the spring. What the heck is going on there? Oh, it, it's part of the scissors. There we go. We did it. We did it. Swiss Army Knife has been taken apart. Well, let's put all these things away first. Pretty cool. Oh. Okay. Don't need that anyways. Let's drag this over. Plop it down right there. And kabam. That was easy. That was really easy. Smack into the wall. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. We disassembled the Titanic multiple ways as well as the Swiss Army Knife and the hard disk. Kind of a weird selection, I know, but if you guys have any other suggestions for future episodes, let me know. I think next episode or a future episode, we're going to try to break into a safe to see if there is any money on the inside. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this episode make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already as it helps quite a bit. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember, stay sweet, bye!